अन अकेडमी लेट्स क्रैक इट Hi this is Shweta Rai I secured 99.33 percentile in CAT 2019 I'll share with you my exam strategy things that went well for me and also the things that did not go so well for me so that it can, it can help you formulate your own CAT exam strategy So are you ready to get started let's rewind to exam day The night before the exam the night before the exam a lot of things you have to keep in mind first of all do not eat very heavy food because you you might feel bloated or you might feel heavy that day as well as the next day so just eat light eat fruits and also i would suggest do not drink a lot lot of water because you cannot afford to go to bio breaks during the exam so do not drink a lot of water but do not dehydrate yourself as well so that's what i did and then on the night before the exam on the day before the exam instead i just revised my own uh, formula diary that i had made i kept on revising my formula because i could not afford to uh, like uh, go wrong on any formula as such even on a plus or a minus because that would then cost you a lot of time and a lot of marks then i just uh, on the last day basically i just relaxed myself i did not give any mocks i did not go through any questions i just revised some of the for, some of the formula and some of the concepts that i that i had planned that i would revise on the last day basically and uh, uh, another thing to i that i would suggest do not revise something that you are weak on because on the last day you just leave anything that you are weak on so sometimes it so happens that people are weak on a certain topic so if you are safe in dil that if you are weak on sports and tournaments because that is what is the weak part for most people so do not revise sports and tournaments thinking that let me give this a last try no just leave it if you, if like you you must have given a lot of mocks till now so if in those mocks you decided that that is a weak part for you then just leave it now now is not the time to revisit it so just leave it now just revise the things that you feel that you are confident in and that you feel might need a revision but do not go on any topic that that you feel you are very weak and it's time to leave it now fine so even in the exam day just leave that uh, topic or that concept you can take it like at the end so uh, another thing that i did before the exam was that uh, adjusting my body clock so that is something i had been doing around uh, since around 10 days before the exam so i adjusted my body clock to be active during the slot that i had my exam on so i had my exam in the morning slot from 9 to 12 so i made sure all the mocks that i gave before before the exam were in that slot so basically i made sure my body was active during that slot so i woke up uh, the day before the exam also i woke up at around 6 because the next day also i had to wake up at around 6 morning of the exam so um, on the day of the exam i woke up at 6 i had my alarm set and like i had adjusted my body clock accordingly so basically i did not really need an alarm i automatically myself woke up at 6 then like i just did my morning routine i had my green tea i again like i had my green tea while revising my formula diary because that is something i had to make sure i was spick and span i could not uh, afford to go wrong on the formulas again and my dad was the one who was who went with me to drop me to the center and the center was like not very far from my house so even then we like left at around 7 so my exam was from 9 we reached there at around uh, 7:30 to 7:40 some things to keep in mind uh, i even though it was specifically mentioned in the rules that you cannot wear any sort of jewelry or any basically it was written you cannot wear any sort of jewelry or any iron items i ended up wearing a clutcher which was not necessarily any of these it was a uh, rubber clutcher but uh, Uh, on the center they asked me to remove my clutcher so basically i had to make a ponytail there so uh, you make sure you do not wear any jewelry any clutcher any pins you can at most have a rubber band in your hair that is it uh, another thing is that do not carry uh, anything basically you cannot carry a watch do not carry so basically at that time i ended up carrying uh, pens and papers which they asked me to keep outside because inside they provided us with pens and papers uh, we can we could not carry water bottles or uh, basically we could not carry anything we all we had to carry was our admit card uh, identity card and two passport size photos so this is something that most people forget do not forget to carry two passport size photos like even if you forget they give you the chance to uh, give it to them on a later date but 
but it's all obviously um, advised not to forget that and keep that in your uh, pouch whatever and do carry a pouch so do not carry these things loose in your hands because you know you tend to forget or these things might slip out while you're walking or something so carry a pouch where you have only these things no pen no pencil no watch nothing no calculator so these are the things that you should have with yourself uh, on the day of the exam Uh, now reaching the examination center so at the examination center as i mentioned i had my dro uh, dad dropping me off at the center and this is what i would recommend to have somebody drop you there because it's always motivating and supporting to have somebody known to you at that place of the center so i remember most of the people had somebody dropping them there i would recommend not to go by a, a public transport at least like a metro or uh, something because you never know when that when that can break down right and you do not want to risk it on the final day of your exam so another thing reach the exam well in time well before time you can have something to eat on the way but then like reach well in time so when i reached there of course there was there were a lot of people everybody was with somebody everybody was i believe with their guardians or with their friends some people were revising certain notes some people were discussing certain questions which i did not so i just kept sitting in the car till the gates opened i just went to see uh, my roll number and my room and then i came back i sat in the car till the gates opened and then another thing that i noticed was as the gates open people rush to the gate as if like somebody would block them from entering so do not do that you know you of course when you have reached there so they will open the gates well in advance so that you can enter in time so do not rush you do not have to because of course all that increases the anxiety right so take your time as as in when the rush uh, reduces down go go and enter the hall now as you enter the hall they'll give you a certain guidelines they'll just check you so as i mentioned do not wear clutches or pens like if you're having that they will just ask you to keep them aside and then you will enter the hall now uh, when you enter the hall uh, they take you in like around 45 minutes before the final exam so you can enter you can go to the washroom you can have water just sit down relax just do not discuss anything do not discuss basically do not discuss anything about the paper basically do not talk to anyone there because you never know what mindset the other person has and like basically so just uh, be calm relax sit by yourself just try to revise anything you want in your mind just relax yourself in whatever way you want Uh, so while waiting for the paper i tried to revise the strategies that i had made for each of the sections how will i go about attempting the se uh, attempting the sections and uh, like as was the rumor that like not the rumor as was the speculation that uh, i i am cozy kore was making the paper that year and it was speculated that verbal would be relatively easier so i had in my mind that you know verbal to easily ho jayega and then i'll gradually move on to dilr and quants as as the set goes but surprisingly when i received the paper i went through the first verbal question and it was like a little too tough so but i thought ki maybe a question tough aaya hoga so i just went on i did the paper i i did the first question first passage then the second passage again i i i found it to be relatively tougher than the last uh, a few years verbal paper so suddenly i was like shaken because i had come with the mindset that verbal easily ho jayega and then i'll focus my energy on dlr and quants but then verbal was something that actually shook me ki are itna tough aa gaya and then and then another thing that i had in my mind was ki mujhe hi tough lag raha hai actually tough hai like are the other people also finding it tough or like is it just me who i'm not able to solve the verbal paper like not able to solve i would not say not able to solve but i was not very confident of course in verbal you cannot be uh, totally confident of the answers but i was really nervous about the verbal paper so while attempting the verbal paper i had made a certain strategy and one part of that strategy was that i would attempt the entire paper in order but i would do the para jumbles at the end because they have a very f little chance of getting correct because then you have to arrange five sentences in the correct order and you cannot like even if you give in your time and arrange the three sentences correctly but if you mess up with the other two you'll end up getting a zero so i had thought of uh, doing that at the end but while giving the exam uh, facing like difficult rcs i somehow thought that maybe i should 
try doing the para jumbles first so i went on there so basically this is something that i would suggest you not to do because that was the strategy that i had made uh, after giving so many mock exams right and so many of the mock exams had uh, like you know mock exams have uh, some of the exams have a tough uh, tough verbal section some have a tough dilr section so there is a good mix of it so i had made that strategy after giving so many mocks but on the final day i got so nervous i changed my strategy and then of course like in the end i scored the lowest in verbal only so i think it was because i changed my strategy so i would suggest you not to change your strategy like be a little flexible as to like of course cat is known for giving you surprises so you cannot be totally rigid as to ye socha hai to yehi karna hai you can be a little flexible but do not change your strategy like you know upside down so that is one mistake that i made an academy let's crack it